All right, we're here for round two, two, two. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I was here earlier this morning and found quite a bit of stuff, actually. I found a lot of breakables. Um, and I decided to come back this afternoon to just see what I could find. So we're, we're going twice in one day, which I'm not opposed to, obviously, because I'm here. So let's go in, see what we can find. Those of you new here, I'm a full-time reseller. And I go to the Goodwill bins to find product to sell. So, you pay the buy of the pound, but you have to dig for the treasure. So let's go in, see what kind of treasure we can find. Okay, um, just looking around this morning, there was probably... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10 to 12 rows of breakables. And it looks like all of those have been switched out and all of them are gone now. Which, I don't know where they go from here to be honest, but... If I went to came this morning, I wouldn't have found those, so... Pretty crazy, they go through stuff very fast around here. Always switching stuff out. Ugh. Something smells. Um, one moment. I have to time my shoe. I feel like I have a bum cart. I feel like I'm dragging it. Large. But there's no RN number. Jewel. Which is relatively good, but that one had a bunch of, like, chips. I don't know how else to explain it on the leather. Guess size 38. It looks like that vintage guess. But maybe they redid some to look vintage. It's kind of a nice pair of guess, actually. Ooh, this one kind of smells too. in here too. Levi's, 5'11", 30-30. That is kind of a short inseam, especially since uh, Levi's is usually notoriously shorter than the tag.
it's kind of a nice Kiko's. Ooh, these are tiny. 5, 11, 12. Oh, they must be a kid's 12. Yeah, yeah. like a lot of kids. Size 29. A lot of kids' clothing. Which I'm not really keen about getting. Fun towel. Made in China. We have some blankets. Salt. Red toe, you're dead. Salt therapy. Size small, but uber duber hairy. right now. So my plan has been foiled. So we're just going to wait until those are out and people stop going uber ham over them. And then I will take a peek. Mm. Look at 
it's locked. Portable DVD player. Oh, look at him. Adorable. Perfection by MJC. He is so cute. Made in 1988. Make it. We'll see. He's adorable. something. Box 1992. This would be glass price. light up the room. Love them. What is this? Is it like a TENS unit? Federal law restricts the sale of this device on the order of a licensed physician. Take a look at it. Oh, got an old KitchenAid. Has lived a long life. This. Part of it. 
dollhouse, maybe? Barcelona. Pixar Pier is a little dirty. Joy to the world. Little music. Box of sorts. Velcro works well. Made in Korea. So this is a vintage Hawaii duffel. I might get that.
U.S. luggage, New York. Power. That's cute to see. That's what I'm saying. Planner and organizer. leather. I think I might leave that one. Urban Expressions. Sports, uh, but it's pretty 
pretty dirty. is following me. Is it the jacket? No. Uh, I don't like. I can't see. Oh, it's just like a fake uh, cream. Ooh, I smell pee. One really stained though. This is J Joy. It's a fossil wallet. It is missing a zipper, but I have some at home. can easily fix that. It's kind of concaved. But I can fix that very easy. Ooh, look at this vintage hat. Spencer's Alley. Um, I kind of love that. Yes, I'll take it. Here's one of those niche shells. Oh my. I think 
think I had this bag at one time. I did, I paid like $70 for it. That one's really, really dirty. Okay, I'm gonna look a few things up, weed a few things out, and I will be back. Okay, I went through and I'm keeping it all. Okay, let's continue on. I think I looked at these already. Speed limit. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go look at the shoe bins. Taking a little detour for this zoo med, save your reptiles. Someone donated, oh my god, that's a heavy fake piece of wood. Okay, let's go look at shoes. Oh, geez, there's clothes all over the floor. Okay, so the pea smell, I think, was in those bins because none of my stuff smells like the pea. CBG. Those are cute, actually. People don't super, for me anyway, buy the super high heels. I think I'm gonna leave those. to the comfort shoes these days. Granted, I just bought a pair of shoes my last bin strip and those are a little dangerous looking, but sometimes it doesn't matter. Just gotta do it, you know? How much are these? Uh, CDs. CDs are $1.30 a piece. And some grab bags for eight. Mostly like hygiene and cleaning products. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to the back because they put out those new bins and it seems to have cooled off back there. So I think I'm gonna make my way back. And see if there's anything I want back there. So let's go. Expressions made in India 2000, so those are vintage. These are kind of nice actually. Look at this. 
I also went and looked at a few clothing bins and added some clothing to the mix. bunch of these Super old, 1970s. Really cool looking. A pop-up book. Or four pop-up books. That's cool. That's fun. Look at that. I looked at 
the butt's ripped out and the crotch and there's weird stains. So I'm gonna leave that. Columbia. Jesse Rook. Don't know. Woven heart. This is a curtain. Or is it a kimono? <laughs> I don't know why I found that fun. I think it is. Oh, it is, yeah. Um, I love it. And I would like to say, I'm sorry I mistaken you for a curtain. Mistaken, you know what I'm saying. Oh, what are you, Orvis? Made in India. Look at that. It's a nice looking Orvis. Ooh, lots of stains though. Jojo Under Armour Cookies. 
mad lab. Ooh, there's some funky stains on there. It's like bleach and then some other stuff. Yikes, yikes. Razzie's collar has been, or is it supposed to look like that? Mm, I'll look that up. This card is a big old bum. BNCI by Blank Noir. Blank no Noir? Noir? Sorry, it sounded like I was stuttering. I think they're a pretty good brand. Usually I pick them up and they do well. Forever 21. What are these monstrosities? Wild Fable. These are vintage. Oh, chic. Oh, got a weird stain on the crotch. We're leaving that one. Could I wash it and get it out? Probably, but I just, after, you know, seeing it, I just, I, no thanks. I found this. It's vibrating. Strange planet. Okie dokie. I think they're gonna put out some new bins at some point, and so I'm gonna look up some stuff and then we'll see what else they put out. So stay tuned. Okay, I am going to be going through the stuff I found in round two. Um, I'm just waiting for new bins to come out to go through some of those, but I will give you an overview of what I found so far, um, which is mostly clothing. I'm still like super amazed that when I was here earlier, there was so many breakable bins and like now nothing. So I, I don't know, I'm just a little shocked, I guess. Okay, first is this vintage hat. It is union made. It looks like it was sold at maybe a um, antique store or a, someone who had a booth. But I love vintage hats. I love them. Even if people just use them for decor, 
love it. Anyways, okay. Next, a fossil wallet, red. It is missing its pull, its zipper pull, but I have extra. At home, I bought a bunch for when I find bags that don't have their zipper pull. Uh, but yeah, you can buy like a whole thing of them on Amazon and they just hook on really easy. Next is a kimono, which I first mistook, mistaken, mis you know what I'm saying, um, <laughs> for a curtain because it's very like large and it's hard to see its shape, I guess. But let me see if I can get it all out in all of its glory. And then here's one of its arms. And another arm. It is vintage. Hand sewn. Love it. I love a good kimono. Next is a vintage Razzie authentic jeans wear ranch jean jacket with a plaid interior. The neck has been thoroughly worn off pretty much, but I don't really care about that. I'll still get it. Uh, good size. From what I remember, yeah, extra large. So I shall get it. I'll probably post for around 50. Next is a vintage photographs book. It has its little, whatchamacallits in the corners. Um, made in USA Royal Albums, genuine leather. I love these. I love them even more when there's pictures of them. Okay, next is a Orvis size medium, really fun print. It does have some like light staining on it, like here. Uh, I still am going to get it. It is hand wash though, so if I do treat it, I can't really be shoving it in the washer. So I'll see what I can do with that. Next, a vintage tin. No name on it. I'll probably do a Google uh, lens search to see if I can find out like who the maker was, but can't pass up a good tin. Next, some vintage treasury collection, wonderful Wizard of Oz, four pop-up books. Cyclone, The Yellow Brick Road, Adventures in Oz, and Emerald City. Yes, please. Okay, next, a set of Elegant Expressions made in 2000, pillar candle holders, six and a half inches. They're a pretty nice set of candle holders. We're getting that. Next, a J. Crew vintage fleece, size medium, kind of Sherpa pullover, and like a cream color with navy. Next is a pair of Wisteria Lane. I'm not sure the size. I mean, it might be somewhere else. I'll just have to look. Uh, but these look to do pretty well. They're really fun bell-bottom pants. Um, they are amazing. I love them. Next is a massive robe. There's a little something there. Which I started to not get just because they're so huge, but I'm pretty sure I can post this for around 60 or so. It is Mark Travers, made in Turkey, size large, and it's this really nice white textured print and good shape for it being white, to be honest, and surviving the bins. So we're getting it. Okay, next I have some bags. This is a vintage Hawaii duffel. It's Hawaii right there. It has some turn locks on the front pocket, full zip top. 
The only thing wrong with this one is it's missing a little, oh, it's missing two. Two of its little feet. Feet. I do know how to speak English. I just play around sometimes, you know? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get that because it is adorable. Next, a Timbuktu messenger bag. I was kind of confused because they have these on top of the Velcro. Um, but I figured out that they just didn't, they wanted to be able to flip it open and not have it stick. So they put something on top of the Velcro so they could just flip it open and not have to worry about it being stuck. So I'll just take those off when I post it. It does have some wear like here. They definitely used it a decent amount, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Next is a Hedgren backpack in like a bluish green color. These look to do well, so I'm getting that. Next is a super insanely bright high viz cedar key extra large jacket. When did it say this was made? I don't know. Uh, knew it takes. Looks like it was originally $20. Someone else wanted five. But these are posting relatively high. I mean high as in maybe like 30 to 40 I could post it for. So I will get that. And then last is this Ogio backpack. Like tons of organization. I think it's like mostly a travel bag, but whatever you want it for. But it's Ogio Airflow. So I am getting a lot. So yeah, not bad for the second time around. Definitely different stuff found this time than the first time, um, which shows that no matter when you come during the day, you'll find literally a different set of whatever. <laughs> so I'm happy with what we found and I will hopefully get it posted pretty soon but in the meantime if you could give this video a thumbs up I would so appreciate it I shall be putting out more digging videos Goodwill retail um, I will be thrifting there along with some estate sale probably going to some estate sales I'm thinking of going to um, the one company that does estate sales that the last hour they do everything for free just to like show you the chaos but I don't know if I'm hyped enough at this point to do that <laughs> but I'm contemplating it so stay tuned um, but yes everything I get is posted on eBay Poshmark and Mercari and of course you can email me at hellohandbagsyt at gmail.com if you're interested in anything and I can give you a price um, and I invoice everything through PayPal. So, just a heads up. But, I'm going to take off. It looks like they're putting some new bins out. I will update you if anything good comes out in those. If not, though, I will close it out. And I'll see you on the next dig. See ya.
I don't think this is real, but I'll double check. I'll take a look, see at the codes, yada yada. Hannah Anderson. Sure. No name. Oh, look at the black one. Bagelini. Armpits are really getting full of purses. Unload.
Oh. <laughs> you scanning yeah. I am. Um, well, I'm just recording. I'm not like. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm not like actually scanning things. But I do know people do that, actually. This one either. Nike. Some of these you really have to dig because everything's like hidden. And there could be a wallet, like a good wallet or Yada yada, you know. Stone and Co. That's a pretty good brand. Zeddy. Ooh, that's cute. It's like a little mini beaded bag. We'll take it. I don't like this. Okay, I went through these. I could probably go through them again and do a better job. Oh, they made this from a tie. put these in my my cart and then check out the other new bins oh my look at this Pick up Rampage. Nicole Miller, New York. That's a nice, like, um, weekender bag. I think I'm gonna leave those two. Massive Clown. kind of wondering if I would get to my 25 pounds, but I think I, I think I did, so. Um, we got a Stone & Co. Pretty good brand. Um, I'm not sure that fella gave me this. I have a Guess. The only thing I didn't like about this one is it had some staining right in there. 
but overall, besides that, it's pretty decent condition. So getting that, I'm pretty sure this is a vintage bag. Oh, we still got a lip gloss in there. It's a nice bag. Um, Hannah Anderson, just a simple black backpack. A vintage Minnie Mouse little hat. Ooh, I'm getting sweaty again. I know you all are invested. Um, I'm not sure the brand on this, but it's like a velvety inside, and I'm not sure if this is leather. I might do a Google image search and see what I can find on this. But it's a nice looking bag. I'm getting that. We have a Louis Vuitton, which I don't... I need to look on the inside more. I don't know. I need a minute with that to see. Next is a Travelon. Travelon does pretty good. There's a little bit of a stain. I might be able to get that out. Uh, but Travelon does pretty well. Next, a Fossil. That's this really nice pebbled leather has that distressed look. Love that. Um, we have a Brighton bag. Is that all we got? That's all we got. All right, I'm gonna look more into the Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna look into it a little more um, and see about getting that. Otherwise, that's the haul for today. Thanks for coming with. Like I kind of stated before, I wasn't really expecting to dig for another 20 minutes, but you know, the bins will get you. All right, until next time, bye. So the question is, did I get the Louis Vuitton? Let me know what you think in the comments below um, and I will update you on a future video if I did get it, if I thought it was real or fake um, and what really happened with the Louis Vuitton I found at the bin. So stay tuned for the next video and I will give you an update, bye.